Let me go and ahead and get I? the music right off here. Uh, you did not go to streamer mode last episode. I heard the Discord bot did this yeah, a few times. Yeah, I, I forgot around. about that yeah. and I fixed that. Yeah. Uh, <clears> you can also put yourself on D and D and um in the chat. Do not, Do not disturb. disturb. Hello. See, d oh, anyway, Dungeons welcome. and these nuts. I'm surprised that video took off the way it did. Oh, what the five? Ne yeah, I mean it was a yeah. it was a very good video though. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, maybe we need to start content farming. <laughs> Let's do it, bro. You don't care about go. views. Why are you sell out sell out time? So I posted something for you in deranged chat. Why? Now I know you haven't clicked this. No, I have I know not. you haven't clicked it. All right, you see that red link? Okay. What is this? All right, let's. All right, all right, uh, everyone, join in with me. Click this. All right, cool. Hang on. Yes, I'm right. over eighteen. Uh, and yeah, yes, I will put 18. this I, on the. I will put this on the screen cap so everybody at home can so, see what so, we're looking at. Turn the volume on. Okay. What am I looking at? <laughs> Jesus, <that's a> great <laughs> shot. <laughs> This is, just a, this, is a, this is a lit cover of um <laughs> of lit. <laughs> a cover of what? What? Oh, but here it comes. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> I'm going out to I'm going out for St. Patty's tomorrow. This is exactly what that evening is going to look like. <laughs> you see the fucking cow pod come out. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. I heard it. <laughs> so uh Tyler Bassett, can you explain what you were doing in, the, in that video? <laughs> well, I was out uh, drinking, obviously. It's <laughs> 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 <is> fucking stupid. <laughs> uh Somebody's on the telephone. I can hear it. I don't know. Maybe it I could have been it. worse. Yeah. Could have been worse. Someone could have thrown a chair. Yeah. Somebody could have thrown a chair. Shut up and throw and a chair. Just, you just click <laughs> that. Ah, there we go. Okay. No more right background noise. All right. Did you server uh, mute him? <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> See, I'm the fucking... server mute. Yeah, he's, you know, uh, maybe he's on speakerphone. The... Yeah, he's on speakerphone. Yeah. All right. All right. So, yeah. All right. So, uh, pull up the 40k if you would. The 40k. We are already the 40K. on the 40k. The 40k. Yes, we are. We are. We are doing another lovely episode of the Warhammer 40k. The last. We've been still on the phone. Oh, he's not. Okay. All right. <clears throat> now we be we take off where we left off. King of Greed in our Discord server has been very vocal about this series. Really? Yeah. He says, uh, me and him were talking, and we we're saying, oh, well, I'm going to reveal my original intention with the series. Uh, the point of the series is the same conclusion that Kyle has come to with 40k, and it's fuck the Imperium of Mankind, embrace chaos. Yes. And so I played my hand because I was thinking the way we were going, that wasn't going to happen. But then he said something to me that made me say, well, when you put it like that, now it's got me thinking. And depending on how this goes and our overall enthusiasm, we might do another episode of 40k after this. And, well, it, either today is going to be the last session or next week is going to be the last session. But, um, like, I mean, like two weeks from now. But the game we'll play after this will be Street Fighter the tabletop game because I want to see what that's like. But there's no game sheets the like character sheet on roll 20 that fits with street fighter and the no present storyteller system sheet is compatible with it either because it's missing skill checks so instead of doing the whole edit editable pdf i'm probably just going to, have to do txt files for it more so than you'll be doing all of your roles manually i know we end up before and i'm still straight edge for I mean, god right now so instead like I'm thinking simple a, plebs <laughs> simple plebs <laughs> you do it like the old days when you didn't even have the character sheet you just had loose leaf uh paper on your five star textbook with your gotta do what you gotta do. with my own pen like some sort of a heathen 
Yep. <laughs> Today's yeah, drink is guys. um. I can't drink alcohol still, so it's brisk sweet tea that I've mixed with um, lemonade. Nice. Mm. That's coming up very nice. Um, surprisingly, there's not nearly as much sugar as I thought there was going to be in the brisk sweet tea. There's only 11 grams per serving, and there's four servings in the one liter, so it's um, 44 oh. grams of sugar, which That's is brisk. um. Yeah, it's half of what's in a pure leaf bottle. Pure leaf tastes like sugar. That's actually funny because I like pure leaf. Really? Yeah. It's funny because brisk, I feel like, has a lot of sugar in it to begin with. Like, I figured the sweet tea would be, like, ridiculous. Yeah, the sweet tea. Oh, really? It's it's not that sweet. <clears throat> um, not, not nearly as bad as you think it's going to be. And here we are. I put you on the right map, right? I'm not some sort of fucking schmuckhead that put you on the wrong map. Okay, okay, we, we are where we're supposed to be. Yep. Okay. I almost died. That's right. Yeah. yeah. You would you have deserved it. You're a witch. I quite literally have two hit points left, my guy. <laughs> I, I can't even find myself on the map. Let's see. And Kyle, I noticed our ambience was a little quiet last episode, too, so... I... Um... Yeah, when when you go into goose, it crank the volume up to let's say sixty. All right. Let's see. You gotta pull right. a soldier boy. Crank that. All right. All right. So you gotta crank that. Uh, today's music comes from Prometheus Studios. If you listen to forty k music while studying or doing work, you've probably heard these songs already. All right, let's play it. <clears throat> so, and if he uh, content IDs me, I'd be okay with that. Before we begin, uh, can yes. you explain the advancement again? The advancements, because we only you really have the posted. one series. Um, right, I thought you were talking about fucking Civilization VI when you posted that. No, uh, I was going off what, um, what was it, Vigo? Okay. Uh, it's, no, it's because I'm not that worried about this, because this might be our last game. So, oh, okay. in Fantasy Second Edition, you could just cash in 100 experience points for five points add to an attribute so if you just want to cheap out and do it like that then yeah go ahead but um really five. there's a whole sheet like the dark heresy book where if you want me to pull out the, the dark heresy book and i take no, a no, screenshot of the page and i send it to you i can do that instead uh if this is going to be the last episode i wouldn't worry too much about it i thought we had a couple right. more that uh, and looking at this i mean the, we might do another one after this depending on what happens <clears throat> all right and what happens, we are immediately going nose to grandstone with this. Allow me to get you off the screen and back to where we were with our Adeptus Sororitas. <clears throat> and the cat. Hello, everyone. Yep. So you're currently in here. You've gone into... Seems you were stepping into what looks like a small church building last episode. You step in here. You are face-to-face -face with a member of the Adeptus Sororitas, where... Let's face it, you know who that is. You recognize that uniform. It's it's so obviously an Adeptus Sororitas. I think the only person who might not know is, um... Uh, nobody. You all know this. Alright. So, looking at all the things we've got... I think <clears throat> Meepian came back. No, 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 he's here, yeah. Phone call. Oh, yeah. oh someone left. Yeah. Or is yeah, that, that was the music bot. Yeah, it, it does that sometimes. It's going to trick you. Right. And let's see what all this. So you have an Adeptus Sororitas in front of you. And along with that, we have a... Um, is this a human? Uh, we think it is. It is merely uh, a man with like the head to... of a cat. <clears throat> would anyone like to roll intelligence to see if they know what this is? I'm kind of dumb, but I will see what I can do. No Nomad mods? Shit, but I'll do it. Yeah, uh, go ahead, uh, no mods. Since this this is obscure even by like ah. universe standards. All right, so um, behold, Man Pearl knows the cat boy. And let's see, Bell, Kayla, we have never no seen idea. Him before. The Xenos got him too. They cut off his head and put a cat's head there in its place. Those bastards. Yeah. But see Nope. Same with um Sam Chubsy. Well, yeah, Imperium Lore, that would have worked too. 
Uh, yeah, you're not putting it together, other chipsy. We have never seen a fill in it before, but Man Pearl, you have. And it is a very strange mutation. The Administratum, the Ministorum, the Adeptus Mechanicus have no idea how these formed, why they formed, or what plant they originated from, but sometimes a man in the Imperium of Mankind just comes out looking like that. I mean, it's almost completely random. Like, a cat will give birth to a regular-looking human, and a regular-looking human will sometimes give birth to a cat person. It's all the forces of chaos. There's some zinc exactly. shit right here. And in case you're thinking, well, that sounds like a lazy explanation, uh, that's because it is. These guys have one page in the entirety of 40k lore. And that's it. I see. Yeah. It's the Liber Xenologus, which is a very good looking book, by the way. Let's see, I don't. Well, well, no, I get why the Games Workshop doesn't go into this, because everyone only ever cares about the Primarchs and the Space Marines. But, you know, like, some other stuff would be appreciated. <laughs> so, looking at this, you see the Adept of Sorority looks at you, and she gives a glance over you. Now, Bell, there already would have been issues with your appearance, with your arrival, but Man Pro comes in. You see the Adeptus Sororitas immediately reaches for her belt, pulls out a bolt pistol, and she raises it and points it at you guys. Hang on. She's with this us. This is where I die. <laughs> see, she's looking at all of you. What in the world do you think you're doing? I know the forces of chaos are insane. But I do not think they'd be as stupid as to willingly walk in front of an adept of sororitas. I beg your pardon. It is so obvious that you are imposters. We've already seen it in our bodies walking around corrupted by chaos. But you, and she's going to point the gun right at Mamperl, you reek of chaos and Xenos filth. How are you still standing? Frankly, I don't know. You can't answer the question because you're going to reveal the chaos within you. All four of you, turn around this instant. Face the wall. Sister, with all due respect, she was, in, she was gonna... horribly disfigured by the Drukari. You've seen the carnage. And you're going to see... Titus, on the other hand, the cat person, he's got a, a, an auto gun on his back. He's slowly going to roll the strap around his shoulder. He's going to keep the gun under his arm, and he's going to keep it trained on you, Kayla. As he's going to look. Sister, I do think they're trying to deceive us. You've told me many times about the, the way that uh, the Chaos will try to pretend that they're one of us. Yes, I know. Chaos's main recruiting ground Besides the elves as humans. It's sad that so many of us will fall to chaos, but no. Keep your wits about you, Titus. This corruption, I know it is. Sororitas, please. I have with me, if you'll, if you'll pardon me, two heads that the Drukari have collected. One of an Adeptus, Ar Adeptus Mechanicus that first, helped that first deployed us on our penance crusade. He was a tech priest. By the designation of AFP five CH two slash forty three, and she's going to take the what's left of uh, the tech priest's head and gently like set it on one of the desks. If his memory banks still hold true, it will explain everything that has happened. I assure you. She's going to look at you, and you see she pulls the gun off of Man Pearl and onto you after you do that. Yep. Presenting ahead of one of theirs isn't always a good idea. You know the saying. You already know the saying. Blood from the blood god, skulls from the skull throne. Why are you walking around collecting skulls? Based off we of my knowledge might... of the... What's up? We thought he might have a, a body rebuilt to go with the head. 
And that's your best excuse? Because he's Adeptus Mechanicus. His death of his body doesn't mean death of his soul. Looking. No, I, I can already identify it. Collecting skulls, walking around covered in blood. You're using Xeno's weapons. You don't even know how to use these. You're not even holding the gun right. You I am. All agents of corn. I know it. You would be wrong. Sister, all we have simply done is followed our assignment on the Penance Crusade. We were taken prisoner by the Drukari and had to fight our way out with whatever we could find. Look, I'm even taking medicine and I'm going to shake my pills. <laughs> Just going to look at you. <clears throat> Poor psyker. I can see the brand inside of you. But, no, I guess, I guess the enemy is only adapting. The Emperor's blessing has failed to protect, uh, to protect you. You've been deceived by the forces of chaos and... You, Ratling, I know you're supposed to be immune to chaos. How could you be so foolish as to fall for this? I've been with them all ever since the Penance Crusade started. We haven't been corrupted. You're doing a very poor job of pleading your case. Get on your knees immediately. No. Using the stand down exactly like the forces of corn. If you're going to kill me, you're going to look me in the eyes. I don't think we have much of a choice. But, uh, each one of you, I am going to need a fellowship test from you guys. Uh, my fellowship is dog shit. We're going to die, fellas. Yeah. No mods? Just straight fellowship. No mods. Yep, I'm dead. You know Ooh, what? I Fuck it. I will, just I will burn a fucking fate point to, to, to make this happen. I'm sitting there looking <clears throat> you dead in the eye saying, Fuck you, kill me, bitch. <laughs> see. So, as you are looking at the Adeptus Sororitas right in the face, Let's see, she's looking at each of you. So, Sean, you pass. Me being you pass. The Ratlings. Um, Let's see. I'm going to give each of you an argument. Um,. So, Man Pearl, how do you try to convince this Adeptus Sororitas that you are indeed on her side? It's going to say, look at me. I'm of no harm to you. I'm virtually ruined as it is. Looking at you. You keep standing and looking at me, Chaos Spawn. Turn around! I just, I just, I just, I, I'll turn around and just go do what you must. I don't care if I die at this point. Alright, she looks at the device in your back and sees the way it's dug in and coiled around your spine and she's gonna look. Xenos technology. If only, that, if only our tech priest had survived and was able to analyze the device. But you... Ratlink, I'm going to give you a chance to plead your case. I know that you're resistant to the forces of chaos. Explain to me what you're doing. We were on a penance crusade. We were hunting uh, There's mutants heretics. Here. Yeah, mutants and heretics in the, in the sewers when we were captured by Drakari, which is what happened to our friend Manperl here. You know, I, I, when we came into the, the church and saw an Adeptus Sororitas, I was elated because I thought we were finally somewhere safe, but this has been the biggest disappointment since uh, the petrification of the Emperor. She's going to look, and she's going to keep her gun trained. She's slowly going to bring her pistol back over and aim it back at you, um, Kayla. Titus is going to aim his gun instead at Bell. Kayla, how do you plead? 
I've spent my entire life serving the Emperor as an Adeptus Arbite until a failure had put me on the path of the Penance Crusade. I reiterate what my I reiterate what my friend was it uh, it was Chubsy who was talking before. I reiterate what my friend yes. Chubsy was saying. We run a penance crusade under the <clears throat> under the authority of Commissar Toval Kinthrop. We were sent into the field with Sergeant Tegan Dodley as our overseer, along with the tech priest who as you can see, his head remains and can be repaired with the proper hand. And we managed to seal the hole in which the mutants were climbing through in order to make their way to the surface. And on our way back, we encountered the corrupted Adeptus Arbites. He ran off and we pursued. We managed to slay him with the help of Sergeant Dodley, but sadly, that is when the Drukari attacked. We were shot down. Sergeant Dodley sadly did not make it. Mad Pearl was terribly mutilated with their, with their Xeno technology, and we had to do whatever we had, we had to to escape. I assure you. You are to ex immediately explain the circumstances of your escape. We were locked away in cells. They came from Ampel first. I came to shortly after the sound of her screams. Thankfully, Chubsy, Chubsy, or actually no, it wasn't Chubsy. It was, um, fuck. I'm forgetting all my teammates' names. Like, it, like, thankfully, it was... A psyche who was able to use her psychic abilities to break through the bars and free the rest of us. And that is when we found Man Pearl in the state that she was in. Constantly in pain, we did what we could to keep ourselves mobile. And... Took many strenuous battles through the Drukari. How I'm still alive is nothing short of a miracle. And we slowly how, crawled and fought our way to the surface. This? What? Now, you said you're fighting. Explain this. You can't just tell me you fought. You have to explain how did you manage to get past Drukari, of all people. We're fucking amazing. Again, how we are alive is nothing short of a miracle. We acquired some weapons along the way. We used whatever we could find in order to destroy the Drukari, who had caused this carnage in the first place. Keep explaining this to me. But our, our bodies, you're neglecting to tell me something. Mask. You have ten seconds to confess before I open fire on you. Confess what? Nine. Eight. There's no, there's no confession to be made. I had all confessed. Then kill me. You saw the answer in your head. Six. As you see, Tyus looks over at you. Oh, poor thing. She's been sick for so long, she can no longer tell the difference between health and illness. I have three cracked ribs. Just kill me. You neglect to tell me. Why is the mark of chaos across your skin? I don't know what that is. Ah, the skin. During a hasty escape, yes. we fell into a sewer. I was touched with it. But if that marks me for death, then so be it. Kill me. You say a sewer. There is only... No, you're not worshippers of corn. You're chaos undivided. He is and now you beg for death because him. you realize your attempt to deceive me has failed. More misunderstandings. Woo woo. If it is another demon of chaos you seek, he is outside. Kill him next. Demon of chaos. Now the confession comes out. There now you, you want to tell me exactly what you've been doing. You are to give me the names of your co conspirators. You do so, and I will give you a quick and merciful death. You refuse to tell me this information, I will draw this out for as long as I can. Alright, what was his fucking name? Argyle. Argyle. He claims to worship someone named... What was it? He smelled terrible. What, are they, what the fuck was that? It? Oh yeah, Nurgle. He I said... ain't telling her shit. 
You Thanks. even call it your god by name. He is not my god. The only god is the the only god is the emperor himself. If that were true, the minute you came into contact with this chaos on that level, you should have taken that bolt pistol you carry, placed it under your chin, and pulled the trigger. That's what you should have done. I'll lean over to uh, Kayla. Should I tell him about the person that I've been seeing? At this point, we have nothing to lose. All right. Well, I kind of don't want her now. <laughs> <laughs> She's a bitch. Is your th I suppose. You should know that I've been seeing some strange guy in a chair. Explain and, uh, to me who this person is. Say please. She is immediately going to aim the gun at you, and you're going to hear it make a small click. Guns can click. Uh, I'll start slowly, like, trying. Uh, you know how someone's playing to remember, but slowly describing the person that, that, she, that they have been seeing. <laughs> you claim you've been seeing the visage of the God Emperor of Mankind. I mean,. I can go into more detail, but I don't want to. Were you not taken to Holy Terra? Were you not shown his glorious visage? No. You claim to be a sanctioned psyker? No, I was told to do this or die. The nearer... Oh. You are a poor victim of indoctrination, then. Your entire unit was corrupted from the beginning. How old are you, Psyker? Uh... Uh, what is it? What right here? Where is it? Where the fuck did it go? Oh, 16. You're only 16. You should be in service when you're 46, not 16. That's what happens when you get dragged away. Your entire order, your entire war brand, will be put under investigation and put to death for this crime. Uh, well, you want you're gonna want to talk to. Why can't I remember their names? Are you sure you want to give away their names? Uh, I'm gonna give away <laughs> the names of the guards who have been holding me captive. Uh, the ones that told me that I had to do this, as well as the head of the guy that they're holding out right now. Oh yeah, that was um, Commissar Torvald Kinthrope and Sergeant Tegan Dodley. Yeah, uh, talk to those two. They, they're the ones who have been holding me. Recall Dodley was killed. Yes. Commissar um, likely is still alive. Uh, if you get this one back up, and I'm going to knock on the head. Get this one backing up and running, <laughs> they'll tell you. I see. She's immediately going to aim the bolt pistol at you and fire. Oh, shit. Uh, nice seven. She misses. But, uh, um, will our cat friend hide us? Nope. Alright. One D10 plus two. Bell that has eight wounds. Uh, Bell was already teetering on fucking death. All right. I have six. As, yep. As Bell in front of your party, you are gunned to death. Yay. And Chubsy, you feel the uh, Bell's blood quickly splatter across your face as she is gunned down by the Felidend. Um... Where's the map? Let's see. The map? I'm going to tell you where the map is. But, uh, Bell, we're not done with you yet. 
This is going to get the video content ID to play. I, I don't fucking care. I can't think of a better song. All right. Bill. 16. Uh, jockey music a is server young, muted, my guy. A very young age to get. No, it ain't. It's server deafened. Yeah. I still can't hear it. You muted it. Oh, there we go. All right. All right. 16. Such a young age to get your life cut short. All that, that promising life, the life that you never got to live properly, cut short by the same people that put you here in the first place. Well, hell of a life, right, Bill? Is you, is you're being a fade away, what are you thinking in this moment? See, I believe you are muted, Ryan. Fuck! <laughs> I wish I got to go home. Yeah. As you <clears throat> start thinking, you start seeing the whole light at the end of the tunnel. Is that... What was that light supposed to be? You were never told what color the light was supposed to be. <clears throat> so... You're seeing something blue off in the distance. Fuck I that. guess that's it, right? Great beyond, right? Gotta be. What else uh, could it be? Gotta be. I mean, if there's something after death, I suppose. You've heard stories of the warp. Maybe this is it. Maybe this is where you go after you die. The great it was warp. All, it was all hopeless to begin with. Exactly, the realm of demons. The realm influenced by pure emotion. You know, the giant gash within the galaxy, the eye of terror that's causing all the demons to pour out to the universe. Uh, you've seen the movie. You've seen the movie Event Horizon, right? Can't say that I have. Jeez. Okay. Well, for, well, I will. After this, after we finish with that, go watch Event Horizon. Event Horizon. Yeah. Let me. Yeah. Underrated. Event Horizon. Yeah. It turns out there's a portal to a uh, portal to hell in space. So, you look, you approach this light, and it leads you all the way to here. Bell, we step forward, <clears throat> and you are surrounded by the weirdest shapes. You're surrounded by a sea of smoke, constantly shifting, constantly changing shape, twisting, turning, and many faces are before you. That throne you see, there was never a person seated, seated in the throne. The throne was the person the entire time. Oh, uh, this is starting to make sense. You look up at this figure. Ah, such a tragic loss of life. Another poor soul, misled and cut short by the corpse worshippers. I do put pity upon you. It is sad. I know who you are. The old Karna. You should be back in Katan. Katachan. You should be there with all the tall trees, deep swamps, horrible plants and animals that want to kill you. This is not the life that you should be living, and you know it. Not the life I chose. Well, I was living my life, swinging from tree to tree, healing people. I ask you, did you ever make a choice of your own in your entire life? I chose to withhold my medicine. Exactly. That was out of spite. That's the right decision. That led me to you. I'm here before you now. I'm here to help. Uh, how are you going to help me? You were told your entire life that the Emperor of Mankind was a god. 
But what kind of god stays dead and stuck to a throne while his own people die in front of him? No. I'm here to show you that there is a god out there. I'm here to help you. I am what's known as a lord of change. And I'm here to grant you a second chance. You're not, uh... One of the those chaos things that they've been spewing about, are you? Chaos is not my portfolio. No. We are one true gods. You never got to meet them, but the elves, the orcs, and the Tau, they all have their own gods. And they're real. I am a servant of the one true god of humanity. Got you. Well, if you can prevent me from dying, then I will gladly follow you. I will do exactly as you ask. I will give you your life back, but I need you to say something before I can help you. All right. Let me, uh, let me see if I can embed this in my consciousness. Which is I have... short for let me write this down real quick. All right. <laughs> There's one thing I need you to say. Two right. words. I Eat submit. Shit. Oh, I sub. Oh. Are you sure about that? That's the one way I can save you. You, you don't want to, I don't know, say some like profound shit like, uh. Uh, I, the chair, the great chair, beseech thee to stop killing my friends. Oh, no. I, oh, oh, just, I, we're not just, going to grandstand like that. We're going to keep it real with you. Just I submit straight up surrender? That's it. After all, you need to submit to the higher power if you are to accept its favor. Can I say you win? And I need the exact words in order to help you, please. Fine. I'll say it. I submit. Upon saying that, Bell, your soul is branded. A bright symbol scorches your very existence as a new, great, terrible, and ecstatic power begins to fill your body. You are filled with incredible sensations. Sometimes it feels terrible, and sometimes it feels marvelous. You're stimulated by the worst pain and the greatest bliss you have ever felt in your life. It is the worst sickness. It is the greatest of triumphs. It is the one true God of humanity. You have made a pact. Posting this picture in game chat. With Zinch. 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 It's now the wild, for... but worse. Yeah. <laughs> now, for player knowledge, that's. Is that. Wor you said it's worse, but, like, is that worse than Chaos? He Better is chaos. chaos. Oh. Yeah. God that's of not change, good. hope, and lies. So, Bell. How do you spell his name? Uh, T Z T Z E E N T C H. T Z E E N Z. Wait, what was that last part? T Z E E N T C H. I got you. Zinch. Uh, the best guy to make a pact with. <laughs> I bet i regret many decisions at this point in life Let's see all right coming back over here bell has been splattered chubsy bringing you back into this moment okay so the the tactical map uh i believe i was actually outside now i would have entered yeah. the building but i'm thinking yes. i'm not in all that deeply so I'm going to turn and bolt. Let's see. See ya. You're going to quickly turn around. Um, 
Kayla, in you in this moment, what do you plan on doing? Kayla really isn't sure what to do. Like, she didn't know Belle all that well, but still, like, they all survived together. She did heal one of her cracked ribs. Uh, the Sororitas is being incredibly unreasonable, but then again, it was her job to also be unreasonable. She's been touched by chaos, but I don't think Kayla knows enough about cult about chaos itself to know that she was a part of this the whole time. She was just trying to do right by the Emperor. So she's really not sure what to do. Like, I mean, fucking... And pass. Fuck. See, Kayla's kind of torn. locked up. Yeah, she's just kind of locked up right now. Like, what the hell do I do here? And Manpearl, you in this moment. Manpearl's probably still in a bit of stunned disbelief. She doesn't exactly care if she dies. Um, but she probably has a bit of trust for the party. Since they helped her out of the situation she was in. <clears throat> so I think she would probably, if... If Kayla doesn't move, she would probably also just stand there and just wait. If Kayla started to fight, she'd probably fight as well. As you're quickly running, uh, as Chubbs is quickly bolting out, all of a sudden you see what looks like a blue light emit from, from Bill's dead body. And slowly but surely, hands come out of the corpse of Bell. And you begin to see something new and something blue crawl out of the corpse. Like a butterfly coming out of a cocoon. As Bell, you have a new body. Pasting what you look like now in game chat. Here it is. Here's the picture. There you go. You're now one of the most beautiful of angels. Yo, I got jacked in my body exchange. <laughs> yeah, that's some bullshit. I feel robbed. <laughs> you should be. Yep. Belkarna, your corruption level is now 100%. And enjoy your new demon body. As with that, I'm going to very quickly modify some of your stats. Alright. Don't mind the man behind the curtain quickly changing everything. Let's see. Oh, wait, no, not that high. <clears throat> and, Bell, your side eye side rating has now leveled up to three. Alright. Baby has a new set of spells. As cutting back, Bell. You now have a new body. As Chubsy is very quickly getting the hell out of there, running down the stairs. Belle, as you knew her, is gone. And whatever this is supposed to be has taken its place. Ryan, you are muted. Belle, you may enter. Sorry, I'm, uh... I'm making... A uh, token real quick. Oh, I already have the token for you. Oh, shit. Yeah. There it is. Hey! As, yes, there you are in your new glorious form. And... Yep, Kayla, Manpearl, we both look over. Yep, that's a demon. Oh, that's a fucking demon? Yes. Uh... uh sorry, Bill. <laughs> you said I got new, uh, psychic powers, right? Yes. Alright, I'm getting those for you at the moment, but... Oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay. That's... Yeah. But, yeah. All this wave of new information is flooding to your mind, Bell. As those guns... You don't need those anymore. Those are just gonna hold you back. You toss yep. your weapons to the ground as this wave of psychic power flows through you. Bell, this is it. You've hit the peak of your power. There is... Next to nothing you can't you can't do at this point.
as I thank you. Uh, the... I'm gonna look to the person who killed me. Yep, uh, Titus the Catman. Without you, I would have never became who I am. As both of them immediately aim their guns at you. Psyker! No! Demon host! Immediately open fire! As I... both of them start freaking the fuck out at seeing what you've turned into. And now we begin the initiative roll. And Ryan, get you your new spells. You have four am pages to read off of in game chat. Am I still able to staunch and split, or is that was no longer? Yes. Oh, sweet. And your wound value immediately crank yourself back up to full. I got you. Let's see. See, this shoves these down there. Hold on, man. Move you to that space. All right, there we go. Let's see. Through there. Open this up. Uh... All right. Remember where this is on the sheet, right? Uh, what, what sheet? Oh, for initiative? Yeah, give me a second. Sorry. Yeah. Let's see. I was doing a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, Remember, uh, click from AG. Right here. Yeah. 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 All right. NPCs have a set initiative value. We're uh, all 12. All right. Well, the more chaotic you are, the higher you go in the initiative. That's what I'm going to say. All right. So, uh, Man Pearl, you bear witness to Bell's new power. Bell, you move first. Uh, let's see. Uh, it still takes me a long time to cast spells, right? Uh, you spent one turn casting a spell. I gotcha. Uh, then I will start to cast, uh, Constrict. Alright. On, you begin uh, this one. That's the Constrict. Catman. All right. Let's see, as you're going to constrict the cat man in question. All right, you have three d10 to roll off of. Three d10. Yes. Oh, oh somebody rolled a one in that. I did. All right. So. Oh wait. Constrict. Low rolls are better, right? Or is it see, not for this case? Not, not, not with the side dice. I gotcha. All right. See, did I, you actually want uh, the minimum requirement for this spell? You know what? I will use a fate die on that one. Alright. For fuck's sake, where can straight go? There it is, 13. Uh, it's, yeah. Yeah, but you rolled two below. Yay! Now the spell gets to go off. Let's see. As reading out what constrict does, see, with a word. Uh, you can command flesh of your target to constrict and contract. So, how would you like to go about this? Uh, just as it says, I'm constricting his, uh, his vocal, uh, his, uh, airway. Force choke. Wind pipes. Yeah. Right. I am, Zerbal. uh, Toughness. Anakin Skywalker, or Darth Vader in this right. case. Right. You see that he still has a hand on his gun. He's gripping at his throat. He's resisting. Would you like to see? No, we can't overbleed just yet. We're gonna cast it on him a second time. But yep, you've got him constricted. He's distracted. I got you. All right. That'll that was the turn. other music bot. All right. Man Pearl, your move. Uh... Got no idea what to do, huh, Sean? <laughs> yeah. Um, but to be fair, these people were all just about to kill us. And at this point, I don't really give a fuck anymore. And I don't care if I live or die. So I'm going to take a shot at this bitch because she was being mean. <laughs> I gotcha. Kill the Adepta Sororitas. Pretty much. Um, I will take a shot with the laser pistol. 
In case you're complaining, Kyle, why can't we fly a Space Marine instead? No, a Space Marine would kill you. That's fair. Yeah. Facts. Uh, if only there were orcs. Full aim, I'm guessing? Yes. And short? Point blank? Yeah, short. Yeah, short range. <laughs> Definitely. And semi. All right. Yeah, that hits. <laughs> so she's got to roll dodge. I got to roll 14 or lower. Nope. All right. Five penetration damage. Not that much, but... He oh, headshot. Nice. Well, yes, you isn't wearing that much armor on the head. Dude. All right. So as you end up shooting her in the head, you end up shooting... You clip some of her white hair off as you shoot her in the head as she staggers back, gripping her skull. All right. Anything else? Uh, no, no anything else. You can't move after doing that. Kayla Coulter, yep. your move. Seeing that uh, my devotion is still for the Emperor, I love the fucking Emperor, and sorry guys, this might be my only way out of this. I'm gonna pull the Bulger Pistol, I'm gonna shoot Man Pearl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Alright. Chaos begins! Oh, it's all good. Well, no, all I- right. I'm- you're now- <laughs> I gotta apologize to you after I'm gonna try to kill Sean first. <laughs> all right. Okay, um, roll to hit then, uh, point blank. Alright. Roll to hit, po half yeah, point blank, yeah, you're staying right next to so, her. So, <laughs> half aim then? Uh, yes. Half aim, point blank, semi auto. This no is mods. what indoctrination does to you. Yep. Dude. Yes, bend down your knee and beg like a good dog, Calicolta. Lawful evil man, it's what she is. <laughs> I'm sorry, Sean. I'm no really sorry, Sean. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, that, yeah, that, uh, roll d10. No, d100. Oh. I'm sorry, buddy. Alright, 67. This is a body shot. Um, See, roll damage. If you roll a 10 on this. Uh, just a d10? Oh, yes. wait, no, roll damage. Oh, damn it. I just rolled a d10. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Alright, a d10 plus that. Okay, that is going to be. No, just. There we go. Uh, 11 wounds. Does um, Man Pearl have that? Yes. I have. 16. I'm now down to five. All right. Oh wait! No! 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 no. I, I'm I'm wrong. I wasn't. You look at your total. I had, I had eight. I was looking at my total. I'm sorry. Yeah, Sean. I do not have that. <laughs> yep. Um. Uh, did I have yeah. armor though? Because I had picked up the armor from the other person. Oh, yeah. just arm and leg. You literally just caught me in the body. That's there some go. shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Sean. <laughs> See. As you place the barrel of the bolt pistol into, into her chest, and behold, Calicolta, you are splattered in her blood as you end up shooting her, and she's down. I'm hey. oh, sorry, bro. See, I did you look. <laughs> I'm just playing the character, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I feel like this, oh, is, this was us a second ago. Yeah. <laughs> Surviving is winning. Uh, I think that's all I can do this turn. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay. So, um, you know what? Just for a second, I answer the chaos. Um, we're skipping the adapted sword house turn for a minute. Uh, Chubsy, your move. Uh. Oh, flat out run is 18 squares? Yes. So I'm off the map. Alright. <laughs> so you are quickly getting out of there as you end up running. Yeah. And Argyle spins his head. Uh, uh, wait, 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 go. What's happening? You should go in there and see. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> see. Gotta got love the, the scum, right? Alright, let's look at this. Okay, so upon that happening, um, 
let's see, pathetic our buddies or uh, damn host. I think we know who we're shooting. All right, so Titus moves first, and hey, he actually hits you. All right. Oh shit! I forgot to modify your armor levels. Um, behold, Bell, you now have a second barrier. <clears throat> I do. Yeah, let me go ahead. Let me go ahead and me affect that. Okay, okay, okay. And I fixed it. <sighs> There's your armor level. There. Now, in terms of the gun he is using, he is using the full auto. Do all one to ten. Plus two. Ten. Aimed at the. Aimed at your leg. Aimed at my leg. All right. All right. You'll be taking four damage. Four damage. All right. Is... I got you. Let's see. And this is a burst round. So. Nope. Miss. And another miss. All right. The Adept Sorotas is going to immediately look at you and fire the bolt pistol. And, yeah, that's a miss. All right. Well, as this is going on, um, Bell, your move. Uh, I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna pull it back up again. Get rid of that, get rid of that. Wait, where'd it go? Right there. Uh, Carl, get ready to put your improv on. And... To pull what? Get ready to improv in a minute. Okay. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna use my full action again to, um, keep the suffocation going, I guess. Alright. We have now leveled up in terms of your damage. We are now going into Overbleed. Alright. Uh, All right. More side I guess on their turn they need to do a... Um, they need to test. spend... Uh, yeah. Each round the target must spend a full action to test toughness. Alright. So he's taking oh. damage from you constricting him already because he's continued to shoot while he was being constricted. Uh, and on a success, they regain control of their body and clear their windpipe. On a failure, they continue to suffocate. Right, that's Target a 59, now he's still suffocating. Engaged in strenuous activity. Yeah. As he's beginning to turn blue and losing his grip on his, um, auto gun. Uh, what do you, uh, do you still need me to roll something, or? Yeah, I rolled your rating. Psy rating, which is 3d10. Yeah. Pow. Yep, you managed to keep concentration on that spell. He's still being constricted. You you are one with the force. Yes. This is and, what I wanted. And let's see here. I think... This one. No, hold on, man. Get a little bit more base on this. I'm gonna go with you. If there's a fucking intro that plays in this, I'm gonna be gross. I, um... Man Pearl, how do you enjoy being dead? Uh, it's good. Views this. Sorry, All bro. Right. Uh, uh, <laughs> we're not done with you yet. Oh, no. Right. Let's see. Let's see, so... Putting a step to that. As Man Pearl... Well, once again... Black Room. Um, where's the light at the end of the tunnel for this hallway? Kelly might want to crit this one up to 80. You're gonna need very good speakers, headphones, there is indeed an intro. Yeah, there's a, yeah, there's a fucking intro. All right, uh, just lower it back down for a minute. All right. So, Man Pearl, um, look at the light at the end of your tunnel. It appears to be red. That makes sense, right? Yeah. Trying to keep track of where you are, where on earth we are. So... We've been told many stories, many times about uh, the Emperor and how good the Emperor is. And you heard of uh, the the martyred figure of Sanguinius, the, the guy who was walking around with blonde hair, angel wings, very beautiful man. Everybody loved him, and then he died a tragic death. Death, and you um, celebrated Sanguinala every day. It was a wonderful um, Christmas adjacent holiday. No, that's all you ever got to see of your emperor. You never actually got to see the man himself or what he could do. What the fuck? Yeah. 
and as you are slowly being brought down, you're thinking, what has your life been all for for this point? I mean, why? what was your life supposed to be? You were conscripted into the military, you fought, you worked, you shot, you killed, and you died, and what are you getting out of it at the very end? Oh no, at this point I'm willing to let everyone burn. I'm I'm so filled with like rage over what has happened to me. <laughs> well, 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 thank you for saying those words specifically. Yeah. As you're thinking, this entire thing that you called a life has been a piece of shit this entire time. What? So you're just born to die for a cause and a country that never believed in you and never want to put out for you and this is the things you get at the end of the day. Fuck them all if they can't take a joke. So, you begin to feel this burning deep flame inside of your chest where Kayla shot you. Uh, yeah, the cool irony of it all, being killed by your teammate is how you went out. Yep. And... Just this hatred, this resentment slowly boils up within you until it gets to a point where it feels like you are about to vomit. And see, I, I don't care if it's like crappy ass clip art, but Man Pearl, you slowly begin to realize that red light is all around you. And I think the voiceover stopped. Kyle, you can print damage back up to 80%. All right. Right. As you're here, it's him. Right. Oh, you got a liaison, Bell Mantle. You get the big daddy for you in particular. Such anger, such hatred. Such resentment. I feel all of it in you. You, corpse worshipping dog. You realize your entire life has been nothing but a waste. I see the fire within you. I know that anger. And I have a proposition for you. Hold on to it. Let it overflow. Let it flow out in you. I'm here. I understand. And I offer you an invitation into an eternal army. Do you accept my offer? Do I recognize him immediately? I think we know who this is upon you just okay. saying this. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I, mean, I, I assumed I would, but you never it's, know. It's the devil. Pretty much. And, um, yeah, I don't, I don't see myself denying this offer. So, I'll just say. I need are two words. I submit. I submit. And I grant you a portion of my power. Blood for the blood god. Skulls for the skull throne. Go out and kill in my name. Let them all burn. Mampo Rhea, you are reborn. Immediately from your bloody corpse, Kayla, the blood splatters across your face as Mampo immediately reaches up. And with a scream, she immediately forces herself up off the ground as that red it slowly begins to coil. Uh -oh. And 
these <clears throat> white bone growths begin to shoot out of her body at different angles. She's been reborn as a new glorious demon of corn. Man Pearl, I prepared this two sessions in advance. I've been sitting on this for a month. Here you are. <laughs> Kayla, Kayla done fucked up. <laughs> a little bit. You didn't have to be the one to shoot me, <laughs> but you did. I, yeah, I, I see the error of my way. <laughs> I mean, I do, but Kayla doesn't. You, you could have let the adeptus take the shot. <laughs> yeah, but I wasn't. You know what? Uh, she was. Uh, uh, this is this was Kayla's one chance to redeem herself. Uh, this is uh, look. I didn't want to shoot you, Kayla. Uh, well, well, congratulations, you schmuck. You redeemed. Uh. <laughs> there we go. We all gonna die of something. All right. Uh, Kayla, your move. No, not Kayla. Um. Sorry. Man Pearl, your move. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And Uh-oh. you are fucking pissed at the moment. Oh, yeah, and you're an arm's length. Um, am I... What do I... What do I... I have this new body. Am I... Is everything the same? Or do I just have... You have a melee weapon in your sheet? I had a sword, but that's long gone. That is now in your arm. Oh. So I'm giving you the bone blades that we gave uh, Dane in our D&D game. Oh, nifty. All right. So, Um, you know what to do. Oh, yeah, no, no. Uh, Kayla, um, I'm a a slice of it. <laughs> oh, I, really, I gotta PV, turn that down a bit. PV, PVP time. <laughs> you gotta love it. I'm gonna fucking die, bro. <laughs> See, what a way to go. A bit more. <laughs> I think I copied the wrong version. I don't care. This is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a little too high definition. We need to swap this out. No, I, I already turned it down. Cool. Oh uh, shit! All this right. is the okay, this is the version I wanted to play. Okay, you, you may go, Sean. So sword, full oh. aim. Uh, I guess it's standard. Yes. Ah, uh, fuck. All right. Well, well, there you go. Uh, let's see, and uh, roll what part of the body you're aiming at. Yeah. See, this is going to be a fantastic roll. 25! That's, that's uh, what is it? Arm shot, right? left arm. Alright. Well, uh, 10 damage. I had two wounds left. I am dead. Alright. With that, you are slashed off. And, Kayla, um, Cornate, you get attacked again. <laughs> it's the benefit of being a corn berserker. As... Let's see who else? Uh, sorry, man, pro, you get a second move. Okay. Right. Let's um, see. First I will be a demon worshiper. Forward and go for her. All right. Let's see, as you go around, absolutely snarling, you feel fantastic and terrible at the same time. You are filled with so much rage and such a high manic state at the moment. Um, Bell, you're looking over, and oh, um, I guess a different middleman uh, came over and gave uh, Manpool an offer. Well, despite all his rage, he's still just a redditor page. <laughs> there. I'm sick of the discrimination against self-diagnosis. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, god damn it! Let's see, Bell, I... take your swing, Manpool. I'm guessing half aim since I moved. Yeah, half aim. Here. Where the fuck is the asset oh, I made for your demon form? Jesus. All right. Well, um, let's see, roll D100. For the, uh, all right. It is a shot to the leg. Right leg. Let's see, as that is your fight up the Adeptal Sword toss up, as she is now hobbled and kneeling on one leg. Let's see, the absolute fury, right? 
that it's going to turn into the Black Knight scene from Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, just a well. Um, Chubsy, you're getting the fuck out of there. Rightfully I so. Am. If I were if I were Chubsy, yeah. I'd be running double speed by now. <laughs> yeah, fuck See. that. See, in a field of flowers, you go. See. Yeah. I, I, pauses, wrong, I didn't pauses. clear the map last round, but I do, do now. Yes, yeah, so you quickly run, keep running, and, oh, okay. Oh, okay, we got a moment to ourselves. Okay, I feel the flowers. <sighs> Chubsy, what the fuck do we do now? Uh, I'm going to keep looking for an entrance to underground areas. Like, place where... Uh, Dregs might, such as myself, might congregate. See, it's only some real hope we have at this point. Just trying to find a way out of here. Um, Kyle, get ready. Oh god, what do I gotta do? I told you what I was going to do in advance. Did you? Uh, two weeks ago. Oh fuck! Hang on, let me look through my notes two weeks ago because I no can't no hold on, we're we're playing the feud. The what? Uh, Chubsy, we're not alone. Okay. As, where the fuck did I put the demon man pearl asset? I can't find it anywhere in my files. Uh, you're gonna have to refresh my memory. I I completely yep. forgot. As well, I'm I'm excited to see what you do with this, Carl. I'm probably gonna right. fuck it up horribly because I don't know what I'm doing. All right, don't worry about it. Oh, As God. see, uh, man pearl is no, not you're you're Chubsy. <clears throat> is there somebody playing guitar? Around here? Uh, maybe? How, how long have I been running at this point? Let's see. Yep, you've been running for about, we'll say about, uh, you're in a different scene entirely by this point, uh, 10 minutes. Okay, uh, then I can afford to stop and ask for directions if there is yep. indeed somebody here. Yep. As there is, Kyle, we're handing you a new character. Oh god, what? They get they get to play for one hour. Okay. See. Behold. Show the players. Check them out. Nice. Oh wait, is this one of the fucking uh, emperor's children? What are they emperor's called? Emperor's children. Yes. Uh, here's your asset in the games chat. Hang on, man. It's a nine point nine one megabyte so, image. Yeah, there it is. What are my notes for these? Um, you know Van Halen, right? Yeah, one of my favorite bands. Uh, there you go. Uh, you're pretty much uh, the lead singer. Oh, I'm David Lee Roth? Okay. I can do yes. that, man. All right. Cool. So there appears to be a man in pink armor just jamming out in the middle of all these sunflowers. I I'm quite literally the Van Halen burger from Better Off Dead right now. Yes. <laughs> Chubsy, um... Oh, there it is. Thank fuck a space marine. Finally. Unless it goes south like it did with the Adeptus. <laughs> uh, the sororitas. Well, uh. yeah. well, well, maybe he doesn't know the full story. Okay, hmm. hey, well, I'm going to run over there. Because yeah. he must have come from somewhere, right? Yep. Did you look at him? The fantastic pink armor, gold paladrons, uh, what looks like a little cape made out of raven feathers. Ah, he must be a part of the the Raven Watch. No, um, the the Raven Fist. No, oh, we'll, we'll ask him what chapter he's a part of once we talk to him. All right. Yeah. Um, Ababal, you see that uh, Chubsy has approached you. Hey, little lady, what's up, dude? Ah, I'm just trying to get back to civilization. Civilization. Okay, yeah, dude, well, uh, yeah, which way, uh, shit, which way are we going? All right, yeah, we'll find civilization. Are you coming it, with me? Uh, I would, but give me a sec. I was just shredding on the sick new beast, the sick new axe that I got, man. So, what do you think? Does it sound sick? You look yeah. at the guitar in question. He's attached a bolt rifle to the guitar. 
Okay. So the way that, that gun shoots, if you are to power cord it, it will fire. So, um, pretty unique uh, form of fighting chaos, right? Uh, I, I'm being super agreeable, if, if, if at all possible. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Have a ball. You're enjoying yourself. Um, qu quickly take a moment to get off, uh, put your hand off your guitar, rub your nose a little bit. That, that line we did, you can still feel it in there. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. I just, uh, yeah. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, civilization. Okay, we could do that. Uh, which way is the civilization? Let's see, civilization. Uh, head north. Yeah, sure. Come with me. Anyway, uh, I cannot act. I cannot act with the token. So, like, where'd you come from? Uh, uh, I fell into a hole when I was poking around in the sewers. I was looking for should be movable stuff to maybe sell. I, I'm not lying, by the way. I, I figured telling him I was on a penance crusade would be a, a great time to ask questions like, "Oh, what did you do to deserve that? Or how is it going? Where's the rest of your crusade? You know, shit like that that I don't <laughs> want to answer." Okay. <laughs> so, so she she didn't openly like say that, did she? No. <laughs> Okay. No, this is the, the, the player saying, my character is lying if things don't sound like the the events you recall. <laughs> well, no, I, I know exactly. Anyway, he's like, okay, cool. So he's just like chilling around looking for stuff to sell. All right, all right, cool. Uh, Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's cool. I don't need to sell anything. I just fucking kill Xenos, dude. Well, that's cool. Yeah, so like, like, what's your name? Like, dude. Oh, I'm Chubsy Mall. Chubsy, right, dude. I'm Abba Ball, Abba Ball Livewire, Emperor's Children. I know, I know. One of the best, the best as always. Anyway, so yeah, I was just out here jamming. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's, let's go on back. I mean, uh, so you're like, you with anyone? Are you just like chilling or what's going on, man? Uh, I'm not currently with anyone, but, you know, I, I, I've got people. All right, all right, so you're, like, looking for your people. Cool, man, cool. I can I can help you find people. I know a lot of people, man. Yeah, I think we probably move in different circles. I'm, I'm <laughs> oh, one of the uh, people the Emperor sees the least of, if you know what I mean. No, oh, dude, the Emperor sees all, man. He's like deity god status, man. Like king of everything. Yo, he can't like not see you, bro. Yeah, yeah, but we figure in the down low that that he looks at certain people more often than he looks at others, and we're in that underlooked at category. Well, you just gotta like raise your hands up, praise, and give, and you know, give thanks. And he'll look your way, man. It's that simple, dude. Like, I'll show you this fucking wicked song I wrote about him. You're gonna fucking love it, man. Oh, probably. Hell yeah. I'm playing on the way, too. And he's gonna start jamming out. <laughs> this is the guitar from... playing pastor from every single retreat that has ever been. <laughs> Basically, yes. <laughs> It, it, it's it's fucking right uh, David Lee Roth if he were a, if you were in Striper. <laughs> Finally found the fucking Man Pearl asset. There it is in game chat. Yep. So Man Pearl was go. right. To, oh, there it is. Oh no, that yep. was Chubsy who booked it. No way. Hey, yeah. Yeah, in game chat. Fucking He's scary looking. Again. That's what I just got yep. killed by. Yep. So. Uh, nothing's gonna go wrong over this way. Um, back to bloody murder. Yep, back to back to killing things. And Argyle's All just right. chilling, sitting there being a yes. fat shit, shitting himself for fun. Right. Well, well, we know when we take turns with this point, I can get rid of that initial tracker. All right. Um, see. Now turn the turn. Yeah, yeah. There we go. All right. 
as we continue. Um, let's see, toughness test needs to be made in order to get out of the constriction. Let's see. So he's going to quickly try to roll to get out of the constrict. Come on, fail. Hey, he's out of the constriction. Enjoy that critical success because that's the only one we're going to see. That bastard. All right. Episorotas is going to see if she can try shooting you point blank, man, Pearl. 35, that's going to be a hit to the... Oh, to the leg. Uh, pretty much your, your, your foot by this point. 1d10 plus... Do I still have armor on? <laughs> yep. Yep, natural armor. Your bones. Ah, uh, cool. This will be dealing a total of... Um, Penetration included six damage to you. Okay. All right, Bell, your move. All right. We're gonna we're gonna hit him up with the uh, the old bullet boil. It's on the. Wait, what, wait well, hold on, man. What's what are you casting? Uh, blood boil. Uh, blood, but ooh, Avatar Last Airbender. Classic. Yep. Uh, with a rhythmic crushing jester, you. What does that fucking say? Tune? Turn? Oh, that's actually, that's Tank. that's level nineteen. That no, that's actually past your psi rating. Oh, that's past. Yeah, you can do up to eighteen because you only have no hold on. Oh, you're, 3D10. you're talking. What the fuck you're... am I talking about? No, no, make the roll anyway. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Why was I thinking D8s for a minute? Uh, All right. 13. Ooh. Well, the spell yeah, will not go off. Damn. That and I was not a single nine in that entire roll. I mean, I could. I could do yeah. that. Yeah. Nah, I'm going to save it, though. All right. Uh, Man Pearl, your move. Um, okay, I'm going to take another swing at her, this time with full aim. All right, here we go. We got perfect red only blue only dynamic here. Let's see here. These are going in. It feels good to be a bad guy, right? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Nine degrees of success. Where are you hitting? Let's find out. All right. Let's see here. This is rending damage. 69! Ah. That's a torso shot. <laughs> See ya. Nice. <laughs> well, upon you doing that, you cleave the Deptosaurus in half. And, Man Pearl, you still have an action economy. Um, I will move up a little bit and then take a half aim at Catboy. Alright. Uh, as we all know, Sean profusely hates anime. He hates cat boys. I don't hate anime, yeah. but I do hate cat boys. Yeah, the cat boys. See, so, yeah, we will not be buying a body pillow of Titus after the game. That's going to hit. All right. You got a massive, like, pretty much if you swing, it's going to hit by this point. <laughs> Yeah, All right. I see that. Alright. Uh, behold, it's an arm shot as you lop it off. Um, Man Pearl, I don't think there's enough blood. As you slash through the Adeptus you slash through Titus, you're still angry. I just grin from ear to ear. Yes. And I spit <laughs> at its corpse. <laughs> See, uh, Bell, friend? Is this a friend? So look at this, Ryan. You're muted. Uh, I still have my memories, right? Yes. I mean, there's a whole bunch of new information in in my brain, but uh, as far as I'm aware, this is friend. Uh, um, Man Pearl, is this a friend? <clears throat> I would think. So. So I would probably view her as somewhat of a fellow traveler, I guess you could say. <laughs> as... um, I mean, regardless, uh, I'll get close. 
and say, it's been nice traveling with you, and I'm going to yeah. cast Forget Me. Forget Me? Yep. You See. become instantly forgettable to a single creature within range. 10 meters. Oh, wow. Uh, I guess I didn't need to get close, but I did anyway. All right. Well, uh, they can't seem to crawl having met you before this very instant, and you effectively suppress all memories of your previous encounters to uh, the target is entitled to its ordinary plus 10 willpower test to resist this power. Their memory right. returns after 1d10 minutes. You roll the d10, she rolls the willpower test. 3d10. Plus, mm -hmm. plus 10 willpower? Yes. Let's see. Put on that. As you're currently standing in a puddle of blood. You'll cover the man in boiling blood. Dear. Let's get this one in the background. Now, the music button should still be working. Yes, it is. Alright, what did you just roll? Well, it looks like the side power will not be affecting her. Man Pearl refuses to forget you. Okay. Uh, do I know that it fails, or do I just think it passed? The way she's looking at you, no, her, she's still got the memory. Oh. And am I aware he tried to cast something on me? Yes. I'll just kind of just squint and say, nice try. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was going to work. Um, you know if I forgot you. Did I know what he was trying to cast at me? Yes. Alright. Um, you know, if I forgot you, I'd probably just kill you in the way you stood. <laughs> well, that's no, a good point. You... I wasn't thinking about that. I wasn't thinking that far ahead. <laughs> <laughs> you got, you got this massive flood of power. You're on this power high. You're not thinking, right? Uh -huh. Oh, wait, hold on. You rolled a nine. Did I? <laughs> <laughs> I did. Here it is, the warp sheet. Oh let's see. shit. Let's see. Let's see. So let's pull up the table. Pull up the peril perils of the warp. Here we go. Oh no. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Should we go full perils by this point? I mean you are a demon. Dear. So let's see here. So not just yeah, let's not let's not Let's not go full nuclear yet. Okay. You what? Why don't I just roll seventy-two? Let's see. Let's see. Um. As of right now, because you try casting a spell, uh, you feel a little drop fall into your wings. You look around. You look up, and yep, you cause it to rain indoors, and it's raining blood. No. <laughs> I like it. And I look around and I just kind of put my hands up. <laughs> uh, so, uh, do we go our separate ways or is this a thing where I have to keep following you? I don't know. It's up to you. We could bend it all down together or you can go off on your own. I mean, it's the first time I had the option to burn it all down, with it being my choice. Well then, you know what? I leave that to you. You know what? Let's fuck it. Let's burn it all down. Atta girl. There we go. Well, it seems that Zinch gave Bell the double mastectomy. That's a flat chest now. Ah, oh, okay. Yep. Uh, I'm going to drag these three together and I'm going to start making a sculpture by like melding their flesh together. And... Sure, that's right. That's, that's very chaotic of you. Yep. yep. See, and there we go. You've now embraced your full Zemichi heritage. I was yep. just going to say <laughs> that was so Zemichi. <laughs> You're trying to outdo Vigo while he's not here. That's right. Oh, somebody's got to tr somebody's got to <laughs> fill in the gap. I, if if you're gonna go demon, you gotta have a calling card. You gotta go all there the way. Go. <laughs> yeah, you gotta make apogees. Hmm. So, 
Um, Mampril, who should we start with? We still don't know how to get to the surface. But there are plenty of elves around, aren't there? Have you ever wanted an elf ear necklace? <laughs> uh, no, but I could go for one. <laughs> Let's give it a shot. I've always been a fan of arts and crafts. <laughs> Let's a find us of, some uh, elves. A couple of uh, a revenge plots, you're thinking? Oh, yes. Oh. Revenge enough to go around. Oh, and the two of you both have flying speeds. You have wings after all. Ooh. Well, who did you wow. see? I just grin, and I just say, the man himself. And then I uh, start flying towards the uh, the door. Which, which direction would I assume that there's... Uh, Things to kill. Things to kill? Uh, well, uh, there's something right there. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> As Argyle's going to look up. Uh, hey, you, you look different now. Right, you can still tell who we are. Yeah. Oh, 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 no, I, I, I still see a pretty face. I, I know a pretty face when I see one. You soup. look so pretty He's now. Soup. Man, he makes it hard. Yeah. <laughs> but if we're gonna burn everything down, and we... I mean, hey, Argyle, do you hate elves? Well, I don't really like them, and they ruined the city. And I had to run down here. I I don't like elves. No. All right. Let's let me live with you. We're gonna murder everything. You could help, or you could be a part of the murder. It's really up to you. I can help? I, I, I get to stay around you more? Sure. Oh, well, more man pearl. As you're going to see, he he puts both of his um his knuckles to his lips and looks at you with admiration and he smells big. I, I'd love to. Shut up, Steven Universe. <laughs> As... Right. <laughs> God damn it! If you, if you could please, please put the picture of the simp sauce. <clears throat> the what sauce? The, the the simp sauce. No, I'm not going to do See, that. I have, well, if you're not going to do it, I'm going to do it then. Oh god. Right. Two. I think this is a PNG. That's a JPEG. Let's go ahead and let's just post it in Roll20. Yeah, there you go. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So, I guess Argyle joins the party, I guess? Chaos ensues. But, that was the point, ensues. I thought. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, technically, we were supposed to fight the chaos, but... One ran away, one died, two joined. I was fighting the chaos. You were. You were <laughs> the only one you fighting the chaos. You see where that gets you now. I mean, I'm just... I was doing what my character would have done. <laughs> and it got that me is killed. fair enough. And to be fair, had I not been mutilated, I probably would have joined you. But, you know, chaos is chaos. Yep. Chaos the car chaos. Spell cards fell right where I needed them to. Was that Jevil you were doing? I think so, actually. Yeah. I did not pin you as an, as an Undertale fan. No, I just watched that one boss fight where uh, Asriel has a gun. Yeah. Oh, you saw the fan animation. I know what you're talking about now. That's the only thing of, of Deltarune I've ever seen. That and the NCS animation of uh, Asriel keep smoking the booth. Yes. <laughs> Um, NCH actually has a really good YouTube channel. Um, NCS is fantastic. Have you watched Gamecade? Yeah. Yes. Oh, it's fucking great. Give that man a fucking show on Adult Swim. Um, 
how many how many Newgrounds animators can you name that should have their own TV show at this point? Uh, yes, because I don't know a whole lot yes. by name. <laughs> See, you you were not a Newgrounds baby like I were. Like no, I, was. I spent most of my time on addictinggames.com. To be fair, I watched a lot of Newgrounds, and I probably would not be able to name them either. Uh, we, can name a, names. We, we can name Jordan D, right? Yes. Uh, uh, the guy was a really shitty animator on Newgrounds that realized that he wasn't going to have an, a, any sort of career in animation. So he uh, retired from animating and started a cult called Spirit Science, where he has like his own like little like OC character called Patchman as his head priest um, that he animates and voices. And the dude has a, le like a legit religious cult on Facebook now. That sounds terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> and pretty much this entire cult doctrine is just um, do drugs to the point where you think you're actually projecting. Let's see. Now we may be wondering what in the world is happening with Chubsy. I oh, hope nothing is happening to Chubsy. Let's see, well you're with the Emperor's child, what do you think is going to happen? You're going to do lines of cocaine and listen to deafening music. See, <laughs> I I hope not because drugs are against the emperor. Yep. Unless That's you're the emperor's children, then you can party in his in his in his crib and he won't mind. And uh, uh, and of course, remember that the ratlings can't be cows corrupted, so uh, she can just do as much as she wants and get away with it. There cool. you are. Let's see. Um, Abbeball, uh, where's the bitches at? There were supposed to be bitches in here. Dude, come on. Like, the rest of the crew is here. You were gonna meet them. Fucking bummer. See, did they leave and go to another bar without telling you? God damn it. All right, they're probably somewhere else. Uh. Well, well I left all the booze behind. All right, fuck it. Cool. Are we now somewhere that I would describe as civilization? Uh, well... This has been the nicest place you've been to so far. You've been following Avaball for... You got a watch? No, we don't have a watch. <clears throat> How long have we been following this guy for? Well, well, we're here, and this looks like um, not nearly as shitty place as we were before. He's going to start making uh, He's gonna start making a drink. You want a margarita? I would love one. Sick. My margarita coming <laughs> up. As... It's amazing that he's able to bartend with hands that size. Uh, to put it into perspective, uh, Kyle, you are nine feet tall and 800 pounds. Yeah, I know, and he's got giant metal hands. He's basically doing everything with, like, his fingertips right now. Yeah. <laughs> However, rather dexterously, because he's used to being in armor. Let's see, so this lady is, what, like, three feet tall. What's the serving size we should give her? Uh... Let me do my count. Just the normal one. Three, four, eh, fuck it, whatever. Uh, the whole bottle? Not the whole bottle, but just, like, lose count and then try to count again and then accidentally yeah. pour a double and then maybe a little more just because we don't know. All right. There we go. And wonderful. Should we add a little uh, secret sauce to it? Uh, I don't know. She's not a, she's not a, uh, uh, fucking... She's not an emperor's child. We'll leave that until later. If she can get through these first like six, then she'll get the then she'll get the special sauce. Yeah, she yeah, she could be like a like a roadie or, or like a groupie. Sick, dude. Yeah, yeah so he's gonna just uh, make her a drink. Alright, drink is done. Okay. So what should we drink to? Ah, uh, the Emperor, obviously. Alright, what was I thinking? Yeah. Yes, thank you, Emperor, for making me and Fulgrim. Oh, yeah, it did. And he's going to, like, pour it into, like, the grates in his face mask, and she just hears, like, a slurping noise, and then he puts the drink down. <laughs> Good shit. <laughs> anyway, so, yeah, you're, like, up human or something? Yeah. Sick, dude. I met Matt Pubin once. He was a cool fucking bartender. He could, he could sing really good, too. Uh, singing's a fellowship skill. I can sing. Can you? Holy fuck. Yo, let me hear it. 
Okay, uh... I, I think back to what, what was a popular song on the, the Rogue Trader. And I go back a few years because something nostalgic is better than than something that's just a little old, if you know what I mean. Right. So, see, let's see yeah. you do that fellowship test. Fuck. Uh, uh, well, um, well, she's trying. Uh, I'm a bit rusty. I haven't sang in in a long time. That's all good. It's all good. A little rough around the edges, but you know what? A little bit of practice will work with it. You want another drink? Uh, I'm only half done with the first one. Ah, I have another one. You look like you had a rough day, man. The sewer's crawling with fucking chaos, yeah. You two keep role playing. Uh, 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 crawling with chaos, you say? Oh yeah, there's like fucking mutants and druggies and all kinds of other fuck shit down there. But no, me and a boys go down there with a fucking rock out and we fuck them up. We got bolters, we got las guns, we got fucking... I, there's this one dude, Evictus, you'll meet him later. Evictus, he comes through with a fucking storm bolter with two fucking chain guns coming out of it. Just rah, fucking rattles the whole fucking place, dude. It's fucking sick, yo. Uh, it sounds like a quite the party. Hell yeah, man. It's a fucking wild adventure. You ever heard a fucking storm bolter over a guitar solo? It's like a double bass pedal with another bass pedal. I, I have not. Oh, dude, you're in for a fucking treat when Evictus gets back. Him and our drummer, Krasis. Krasis is fucking crazy, yo. I once saw him one time. He fucking crumped a goblin by cutting his head off with a fucking cymbal. He launched it like a fucking katana, dude. It's crazy. With a cymbal, he... he th like threw it? Yeah, and it fucking chopped his head off. Like clean, bro. Like there was like he's yeah. like whack and then I'll whoosh, like a geyser and then poof, and then because the symbol hit hit the wall, you know. And they were like, dude, don't break your symbol. He's like, I didn't break the symbol. His fucking neck broke the impact, bro. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I'd love to meet your crew. Sick, dude. <laughs> Whenever I find out where the hell they all went, because, like, they ditched me, which is, like, totally lame, then, you know, I'll get y'all acquainted. They're going to fucking love you. You're a fucking party animal, man. Uh, when I can. Hell yeah, dude. That's all we fucking do is we fuck up demons and we party and we praise the fucking emperor, man. That's what we do, y'all. That sounds like a wild time. Hell yeah, man! Huh. Let me pour you. An let me pour you another. He's already pouring you a third drink with the other <laughs> drink sitting there at the bar. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so okay. what we got? I guess I better catch up and get that second drink in me. That's the fucking spirit. He's gonna pour another one through the grates in his face mask. <laughs> okay, so you're drinking as much as I am and out of the same pitcher. Basically, yes. Anyway, uh, how long do you want me to keep this shit up? I don't know enough about the Emperor's <laughs> Children to keep doing it. Uh, uh, so the Emperor's Children. Um, Chubsy, do you actually... What was the name like the Emperor's Children? This should be fine. But do we know anything about them? Would you like to roll a uh, Imperium lore? Sure. Now, they're they're kept on the downloads. This is just going to be a straight roll. Okay, where is that? Come on, Imperium. Dice. Make the dice go. See. Quite. Thing. You know a little bit. Now, now, the thing is, you know a little bit about the Horus Heresy. I mean, you've heard a few stories. You've had the occasional encounter with a Space Marine during your job on the Rogue Trader. Uh, namely, it was with Space Wolves. And you were told... The name came up before... You, being the scum, you overheard a conversation you weren't supposed to. So all we really know about the Emperor's Children is that 
then these guys used to be super close with the iron hands the um you know the the space marines that chop off their own body parts and then replace them with mechanical parts okay um so like the other guys like iron hands or something that he's supposed to be meeting with Uh, maybe. Let's see. I mean, I don't know. Well, 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 we should probably ask this guy, like, what does his posse look like? Uh, sure. Yeah, maybe you describe your dudes to me, so if I see them, I recognize them. Okay, so all of us, pink is like the base coat, but the shoulder plates are going to be like different colors. So you may, I'm the lead guitarist, so mine are gold. And a Victus, he's our bassist, so his are like a, or his are like a, 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 like a reddish color, and then we got uh, Crassus, our drummer, and his are like a, like a pale blue, like the sky, and then we got another one with gold plates, but his are like more like a bronze color, and I'm just like a solid 24k kind of dude, cause he's like the rhythm guitarist, right? So you've got Fictus, you've got Crassus, and uh, what did I say the fucking th last guy's name is? I already forgot. <laughs> see. And uh, Gerald. Or. Um, Grissus. Invictus, yeah, Crassus, and Kiss. And Grissus. And, and, and Kisses. Let's see. Grissus, there try, we go. Because they, they have to end in us, otherwise, it's not Imperium enough. Yeah, gotcha. <laughs> Here it is. Just a good picture. Um, let's see, uh, this should paste over here. Nope. All right, game chat goes. <clears throat> yeah, there you go. There's your standard fare, um, Amber's child, by the way. Oh, they look sick, though. Yeah. They're. I mean, after all, they're directly based off of like '80s glam metal, glam metal bands. Yeah. Get that man some Nyquil. Yes. Um, I especially like this one um, posting in game chat too, where he's got leopard print armor. Yeah, that Ooh. that one's kind of tight. <laughs> so the thing is, with the Emperor's Children, they heavily customize their armor. Like, you would swear they're from a dip different chapter entirely. They have, they, sometimes they have to tell you they're an Emperor's Child in order for you to recognize them. Okay. But they, they're all order wide based on glam metal yeah so okay the, 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 the more campy and the more flamboyant the suits the uh, the easier it is to identify that they're ultimately emperor's children okay all right so we just need to find guys who look like um this but even more crazy okay um, intuition would be the skill in Warhammer Fantasy. I don't see anything like that in. Scrutiny is used for evaluating cost of stuff. Um, let's see, look at this. I'm just trying to make sure, see if I feel safe with. Uh, uh, I forgot your character's name already. Abigail. Uh, Abibal. <laughs> yes. Ab Abibal. Abibal. Yeah. See. Uh, uh, awareness, probably, maybe? I'll, I'm, I'm probably going to say logic. Oh, great. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to say, I'm gonna say buffed up your weapon skills a little too high. Let me bring that down a little bit. I have See. no fucking idea. Yeah, there we go. Uh, well, the, well, the name Emperor's Children, he should be safe. Yeah, but I'm th yeah. thinking more... Like, I thought the Adeptus Sororitas was going to be safe, too, but she turned out to be a, a fucking psycho. Yes. <laughs> well, at least this guy hasn't opened fire on you yet. Well, no, yes. As far as he's concerned, it's like, oh, chill, there's this fucking, uh, there's this fucking hot app human to party with. Cool. Yes. Let's see. And speaking of stuff, uh, we hear a little clack clack of uh, high heels coming this way. Hey, yo, hold up. Oh, 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 ball that one of the bitches. Is that her? Is it? Let's see, Let's see, 
as you hear click door slides open and oh shit it's this guy again there she is hey yo who the fuck is that Let's see you're a blood stop your mind aren't you uh yo chaos he's gonna pull out his fucking gun and shoot her see you fucking crackhead we're on the same side oh sorry yo you totally had me fucking convinced dude all right you i recognize good to see that you survived hey yo how did you know her like i just met uh, her oh uh, we, we met i met her in a prison wait what prison you didn't say nothing about a prison no it was the the prison that the drukari were running and were torturing everybody in that prison oh oh uh, yeah we were we were supposed to get on that weren't we yeah yes and you've been too busy pissing around and look look i was writing him to praise the emperor i told the guys come get me when we we're ready to go but they fucking ditched me which is lame how many pills did you take how many what you lost count didn't you uh i i've been drinking all day man okay and and you've been putting the pills in the liquor haven't you uh he's gonna check his pockets if he has any pills on him <laughs> see you found out that you have five bottles and all of them are empty Oh shit! I did that again, didn't I? Yeah. <sighs> I I know you're a little confused. So she's gonna look at you with a side eye, Chubsy. Yep, totally confused. You see, I'm not with Jukari. I'm not with Chaos either. I'm my my own thing, really. Okay. I mean, why would I lie to you? I've done nothing but help you so far. Uh, that's true. I mean, to so be fair, the purple probably puts them off. No, it's it's a very nice purple. It's a very nice pink. You you did it yourself. You did a good job. Thanks. Uh, I, I sort of thought you were a demonette of Slanesh. I might be a demonette of Slanesh, but I do not directly venerate Slanesh. Oh, well, uh, praise the Emperor. Well... I don't praise anybody. What? No. You praise. No, you you praise your emperor all you like. No, you're looking for a way to escape. Uh, that's it, back to me? Yes. Yes. Okay, yes, I, I'm totally looking for a way to escape. Now, I want to help you because knowing you got away... That will really chap the asses of every Jukari that knows about you. Well, let's let's do that then. <clears throat> Abbaal, you take her with you. The way out is on the way that you're going. Oh, sick. Can we finish these drinks first? <sighs> you serve me one first. Tight. He's going to pour her a drink. She's gonna look over at you as she's gonna hold a uh, little martini glass in her fingers. What happened to the other girls that were with you? Uh, we bumped into a Adeptus Sororitas who went completely psycho and ex accused us of all being Chaos Spawn. So I booked it and I think that they came to a bad end. You see why you only serve yourself. Well, I mean, I, I would have stayed and fought those sororities, but I figured that would get me into even more trouble than I am already in. You're sent on a single crusade, it ruins your entire life. You gotta learn to make your own decisions. Forge your own path. You're only gonna find happiness that way. Stick with this Imperium, but you're only gonna find misery. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to where my kind live. In the 
under cities. Let me ask you something. Have you ever considered a career in piracy? Piracy? Uh... The rogue trader vessels, did you ever work on those? Yeah. Yeah, and you I already have a promising that. future. Growing up yeah. on a ship, you should know the ins and outs. Whenever it comes to invading another ship or defending your own, you'll be perfect for the job. Yeah, I do have skills in that direction. So let's get you out of here. All right, I'm of all drinking's done. Let's go. All right, cool. Escort. I can do that. It's like, what was this about piracy and shit, though? Like, I don't think the yeah. I don't think the emperor's cool with that. Like, yeah, yes, yeah, so you, you, so you can sing a song about piracy <laughs> as we go along. Oh, sick! I can do that. Uh, she's going to look over at you, Chubsy. Uh, Keeping him distracted is the best way to deal with them. Okay. And with that, Ursula is going to lead the way. Alright. Let's see what kind of mayhem uh, our two demons are doing. Let's see. Hello, welcome to this map. Alright. At this big damn map, I plan on using it before the game's over. Alright. Uh, let's drop you off right here. Alright. Um... Argyle has yet to catch up with you, so let me just go ahead and drop you both onto the map. Let's see. Bell, you fly in, and uh, Man Pearl is right behind you. At some point, I'm going to split and camouflage my split counterpart. All right. Got the, the secret clone that nobody knows about. Hopefully. All right. Let's see, copy. Wait one second. I'm heading downstairs now. Paste. Heading downstairs, and I, it seems that we have a running joke where I just can't seem to fucking find where I put man pearl. Hmm. Let's where see. you put the envelope? No, where I put man pearl's token. Oh. Let's see, I really should just go ahead and alph alphabetize this entire file. Yes, highly recommend uh, that. Alright. So, Mapril on the prowl. Let's see. There you are. There you are. Alright. Mapril, we have so many people we need to take out, um, take our anger out on. And, Shun, you stepped away, haven't you? I, I was muted. Uh, no. Yeah, can't it's... click my token. That... Alright. Let me uh, click it. Let me click it. See. As uh, you're out, you're in flight, and uh, looking yeah. around, just all these people beneath you. It's time to get cooking. Uh, yeah. Uh, Sean, um, you sound very so, quiet for some reason. Yeah. Sorry. Well, like get... Better. There we go. Yep, much better. Um... Okay. There are people beneath me. Let's see. As you're looking down and let's see. You're looking down and yes, we've got elves. As I actually need to pull out their tokens first. As these elves look around and looking up at you, pull out their guns. Chaos spotted. Open fire. As we're gonna have one two, three elves. All right. See, Bell, you've split, and you have camouflaged. I need so to also do a conceal test. All right, gotcha. For the All right, roll to conceal. Roll to conceal. And that's a plus 30 because of chameleon. Yes. Oof. There we go. All right. Just made it. All right. So, uh, well, initiative for two of you. Yep. I've got set initial trackers already, and I can remember the order. Uh, so I'm uh, not going to pull the tracker. This one's going up here. 
and hiding. All right. Let's see. Let's see them up there. Seven and Man Pearl. We are just brimming with power. Can't wait to just unleash, unleash the beast. What is this a vampire <laughs> game? Yeah. yeah, exactly. On oh, God. The fuck is it? Oh, right there. Uh, there it is. Uh, Bell Carter, you will be the first to move. Now, keep keep an eye on this. This is the one and only time you'll ever see Zinch and Korn getting along together. It's true. All right. Oh, uh, let's see. So all that was while uh, they were walking forward, and now I am going to... Why? How do I want to do this? Oh, do you? Oh, that's not what I thought it was. Never mind. Um, so many spells. There is. There really is. All right. So as you plan out what spell, how, how, how are we going to do this? Uh, not a whole lot of attack spells. I'll do uh, Blood Boil again. Alright, Blood Boil. Alright, roll a 3d10. Alright. 3d10. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. You have seen the last effort. Well, this is a hard spell. Alright. You try to set this off. Once again, the spell fails. And, yeah, you look over... Oh man, please just roll your eyes. Use Maybe the sword. I just stop using this. Good. All right, man. Uh, man, pull your move. All right, I am going to just slash the first one. All right. Let's see, you do have enough. Um, yep, you do have enough speed to get down there. That's going to be a charge you just did. Okay. Just go down flying at higher speed. Pulling that blade back. Let's see. You remember, you gotta aim for the head. That's gonna hit. See how much damage this ends up doing. Alright. 89, that's going for a leg. See, you slash down. Ooh! So, I'm gonna see whether or not I can dodge that. I can. Man, pull your attack is avoided. You son of a See. bitch. Well, I, I get another action, right? Yes. This one's full aim. Don't need for these stats. Stats. Going in, taking a swipe. And let's see her. Yep, that one hits, and that is a body shot. Alright. So slashing across. Guy's doing fine. He's still alive, but he's injured. Alright. That, that'll be it. Alright. Jukari is going to try to attack you with a sword. No, that's going to be a horrible miss. Jukari is going to try to shoot Bell out of the sky. 77. No, it's miss. Jukari is going to try to shoot Bell while she's on the ground. Oh, what the fuck did I just click? I hit control F by mistake. And do 100. Let's see, that is all the way down here. 21! We will be shooting, um. We will be shooting. Man Pearl. Man Pearl, which I to try to roll dodge. Sure. Alright. You have roll D100. If it's a 20 or lower, you dodge. It's here. It is not a dodge. We we're aiming for the. We we're aiming for a body shot with this one. And in terms of how much damage we'll be doing, roll two, two, ten, plus two, two, nine. Combine that with your armor and your toughness with against his penetration. Let's see how much damage will you be taking in all of this? Let's see. 
Your toughness is how much by this point? Uh, 82. 82? So that is yep. one damage reduced. He has a penetration of four. That's making it a five. With your armor, you take no damage from that shot. Aha. All right. Bell, your move. Let's see. Got any ideas, Bell? Just going to go with the classic constrict. All right, constrict. Gotcha. Use that the force. Force what choke. Doing? I believe she's using the force. That All right. just meets the threshold. Alright, oh. just meets the threshold. Who are we aiming at? Uh, how, uh, how, uh, the range is 10 meters. How, uh, yes. 10 squares, or is that two squares? Let's see, in terms of squares, that is 10 squares, yes. Okay, then, uh, it's gonna be this red. Red. Let's see. You know what I think you need, Bell? What? What I think you need? Um, pyromancy. That's what I think you need. Pyromancy? Pyromancy. I'm Let's get you on that. Pyromancy. We, right, we did say we're going to burn some shit. Alright. Yes, yeah, so let's make that a little sense now. Alright. Take these spells with you. Take those spells with you. Alright. Oh, boy. All right, there we go. He's constricted. Let's see here. Uh, this seen the biomancy is a little bit limited in terms of damage. All right, <clears throat> man, pro your move. I will take another slash at the guy in front of me. Take another slash. I remember talking with somebody about about the Devil May Cry soundtrack, and they say that there's something missing from the soundtrack. When they point it out, yep, yep, it hits. Roll, we'll, it's going to hit. Roll damage. All right, roll damage play. again. The game plays. Well, well missing. no, well, well, no, it's the dr uh, a better drum kit is what's missing. I don't know. Where... I I hear the fucking um, I hear the stanger uh, snare drum in there, so it can't be bad. Yeah. Uh, well, like, like louder drums is what we were referring to. I guess. All right. So that's a body shot. So this guy dies. As you slash him in two, and we're just going to cover you in a kill build geyser of blood. <laughs> and I will take my second. Oh, well, yeah, I guess a half aim attack with him. Yes. If you fly, you have a one and five chance of missing your strikes. Alright, there it is. It hits. Roll damage, roll where it hits. See, 10 damage. Your penetration, his toughness. Alright, headshot. Yep, he's hurting. <laughs> so you slash him, you slash through his armor and end up cutting off a piece of his ear. There it is, the ear necklace is being formed. Yes. Uh, Alright. Drow has got a roll. Well, uh, Drow? Drukari. <laughs> roll toughness. Hey, he's on the force stroke. Just in time for Bella to use a new spell. Let's see if we can shoot you point range with this gun. Nope. Even though you're right in his face, he can't shoot you. As man probably just sidestepping that bullet flies right past you. Bella, your move. See, Bell, you've got all these spells and you're muted. And I was muted. Alright. Uh, GG. Bell will sit there and wave a hand in front of their face and then cast, uh, what is it? Is this the one I want? Of many flames. The question is, which one? Uh, incinerate. Incinerate. Let's do it. You're always going for the highest psi rating. All right, let's let's do it. Incinerate's right. 19. It's fine. Oh, See. fate point. We're, we're, right, roll the fate point. It's like willpower all over again. Hey, there it goes. All right, now, uh, how uh, much does this kill for? 
Let's see. What? Incinerate allows you to generate intense heat as well as flame by psychically... 1d10 plus 1 energy damage. Yes. Alright. We'll see that with d10 roll. Five. A 4. Alright. 5 energy four. damage? Yeah. See, well, well, thankfully that's going to jack him up as yeah, you start setting him on fire as you see his armor begins to melt as you wave your hand and he erupts in flame. So, the, as long as I'm concentrating on this every round, it'll continuously do 5 damage. Gotcha. Plus 1. Alright. Man, Pearl, you look over. Oh, that's new. Back to slashing. Slashy, slashy. Um, that, there we go. We're going to talk about power fantasy. <laughs> I've, I've spent so much of this game being a sadistic GM, and now you've got this. <laughs> All right, that hits. Where does it hit? How much damage? Bad guy. <laughs> it's what you get for being a good person. All right. Remember that the, the moral of the story is: nice guys finish last. This guy dies. All right. Well, yeah, Manpool. That's another. That's another skull for a skull throw. Another year for my necklace. We got uh, one guy left. That stooge is on fire. How much movement do I have? Can I get over to him? See, yeah, you can charge at him. I will charge at him. All right. I buffed up your agility too, so you're fast as fuck now. Yeah, let's see, this is slash. Let's see, man, pearl, the taker of lives at the moment. Let's see, one point four. Yeah, that hits. 10 ballistic and slashing damage, and. He's 74. Alright, leg shot. He's going to roll dodge. Nope, he will not be dodging that. You slash his leg off, you hobble him. He is still alive, only to die of the fire damage. He is alive on fire with one leg. And eventually, thanks to Bell's efforts, he burns to a crisp. So yeah. thinking he would have made a great cornate. <laughs> and that's his combat. Bell and Man Pearl. Oh, this feels great. This feels so good. Why? What are we? My God. Why didn't we do this before? I must admit, this is fantastic. Dude, Once again, just, brings these yes. three together, sculpts them. Alright, gotcha. But with, with the burnt armor in, uh, intact. <clears throat> the fun thing about Incinerate is it ignores both armor and toughness. <laughs> That's fucking rough. Yeah, so there you go. He was just taking raw damage from that. I collect Anonymous. my ears. That and one's I, a little, little I, crispy, sorry. I carefully flay the bicep of one of them. And I take the sinew and I form it into a string. And I string the ears up and then I wear the necklace. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> the prettiest cornate who ever lived. Where is the she might be covered in blood phone. and batshit insane, but damn, she got style. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're, you're enjoying corn, aren't you? Um, I would say she is at the moment. I mean, this beats being skinless. I oh, mean, don't worry, Sean. If you run into some orcs, it's fucking over for you. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> See, the the, the one counter right against here? chaos. See. See. Where, where, where's the sound bite I'm looking for? Where... Yeah, the one thing that didn't really get buffed is I still have a relatively low wound pool. Yeah. yeah you, you, st you still, you're still inches away from death, so you can't go too crazy. Yeah, there, here it is. I found it. 
Uh, yeah, I found Manpro at the moment. Um, let's play. I'm a- Tell me the murder is almost here. Our power is about to be released. Hell, hell. Please, Satan, release us to kill. They are ready for us to drink their blood, to bathe us. Hell, hell. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I mean, that, that gets you hyped up to play chord. <laughs> kind of does, though. <laughs> so, we're enjoying ourselves, and Man Pearl and Bell, does that sound like a motor off in a distance? A motor means, a motor means more victims. Let's investigate. Please. Okay. As we're going, I'm every round I'm casting wall of fire. All right. On these buildings. Gotcha. <laughs> Setting everything of flame as you go past. Yep. Burn, burn. Awesome. baby, burn. We don't have spell point like a limited nope. number of spells. Now you can okay. just pop it. You can just pop it out. Gotcha. Sweet. Yep. Oh, we're playing the Vigo and music. You... What's going on? Yep. You hear a motorcycle coming this way. And let's see here. Well, it looks like somebody who's hot shit because here comes this guy. Okay. As a single Drukari on a motorcycle drops his way up here. And he's going to the whole um, Akira slide as he comes to a stop in front of you. Hmm. Look at you thinking you're hot shit. How impressive do you think you are? I'll just look at him and say, I'll leave a trail of fire across this land just to see the desperation in your eyes, and then I'll charge. (laughs) I've been listening to that song a lot. That's fucking tight. (laughs) That goes hard. I did listen to the song, yeah. I did. That's a great fuck. I need to listen to that album. That whole album's fantastic, man. It seriously is like... um, it's almost like gothic bluegrass. I don't know how else to describe it. It's fantastic. <laughs> like I thought what I found was good for like for like a, a Blood Meridian movie. No, that shit. A hundred percent. Yeah, that 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 whole set that whole album was written for Blood Meridian. I watched them do a concert. I did they they, they played that entire album on a on a yacht and it was so fucking good. That sounds like a great <laughs> time. Yeah, one more thing for you. Uh Man Pearls, you're running up. You see that he didn't come alone. Something slowly uncloaks itself from behind the motorcycle. It's, uh, this thing. Uh, the fuck is that? <laughs> See, man, pulls you're running up here thinking, oh, that's, uh, Chaos Spawn, but hold on a minute. That head shape, that, no, you're thinking about it. Shaq's Vortec, that our bodies that cause this whole sh- shit that we're in right now. You shot him as he was ascending. Is that what he looks like now? Well, get to finish what you started, right? I just and smirk. <laughs> <laughs> See. Thank you, Ryan, for joining out the flames, by the way. I got you. <laughs> I mean, that's a uh, ambiance there. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, that's where we're going to end it for tonight. And um, you know what, King agreed. You're getting your wish. We're doing one more Warhammer episode. There you go. All right. We'll do a it- two-parter. We'll do a two, two-parter Street Fighter because I think that's as long as we can tell a Street Fighter story for Probably. <laughs> anyway. Was right. this the quote unquote good ending? <laughs> right. we're, d- we're on the way for it. Uh, two weeks from now is going to be our extended ending session. Yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, I'm already dead, so I get to keep playing the fucking <laughs> dude, bro, which I am 100% on board. I should have started playing him. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Just like a fuck I, up I, I, Emperor's child. Hell yeah. Yep. I 100% think we all kind of came into our own 
this session. <laughs> like yeah. our characters are right where we want them to be now. <laughs> yeah, uh, that, that, that's and that and that's the world of story. All just I had to do chaos. was you know kill my best friend and then have her come back as a cornate and kill me. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's, that's how you do it. I, <laughs> I, I, I I suppose that next time we go to Warhammer, you're you're going to want to play a uh, Black Crusade, right? I don't know. That's I hope where you to never have to Ask play Warhammer, Warhammer again, but here we are. Yeah, well, well, rather than glory, that's okay. the two d six system. You're going to like that one, probably. Anyway, uh, I uh, desperately need to get some sleep in order to stave off what's left of the sickness in me. Maybe take one more right. airborne. I am praying well, to God uh, I don't get fucking sick. I felt it in like the taking, back of my throat all day. You have been taking fucking snake oil. No, what what I have done is been drinking the, the, fuckloads of vitamin C. The, the fucking airborne doesn't you, do anything. It's vitamin well, the, C. The vitamin, yeah, but vitamin C, you only you could basically only take a certain amount of it, then you just piss out the rest. Eat so, the fucking fruit. I'm doing the best as I can. As, you're, as long as you're taking the daily amount, like, Taking more than the daily amount isn't doing anything extra for you. All right. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Anyway, I I need to go get some sleep. So uh, there it is. Good night. Uh, good and eat night, some fucking dude. fruit. Have a good night, guys. Good night. Yeah. I, I just got better. I was.